This week on We Have a Show, we celebrate Independence Day by playing Kill, Do, or Marry with the Founding Fathers. But first, this! Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this ball. Mr. Gorbachev, we have One, two, a three, show. Four. We have a show! What's up, everybody? Welcome to We Have a Show, Woo! where it's not just you or me, it's us! And that, my friends, is Calculus. My name is Zach Morrison, and I stuck a feather in my cap and called it macaroni. With me, as always, my co-host and roommate, Christopher Pacey. And with the girls be handy. Those are the words! So, Chris, it is almost the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, my friend. Happy 4th of July there, Zach Morrison. It's all about fireworks, barbecuing, and proud to be an American. Colonial American history, I think, is my favorite subject, like in history class in high school. If you think about it, those guys had freedom, right? They must have, they must have thrown the sickest parties. They must have thrown several wild tea parties, if you know <laughs> what I mean, while they were just dodging being executed for treason. <laughs> uh, and I think this Fourth of July could be a great way to celebrate that uh, American spirit by playing "Kill, Do, or Marry" with the very sexy founding fathers. Who would you do? Who would you kill? Who would you fucking marry? I would kill Alexander Hamilton because if Aaron Burr could get the job done, why can't I? I would do Thomas Jefferson because I have a thing for redheads. Okay. And then I would absolutely marry George Washington. They got a, they got a city named after the guy. I want to be the, the spouse yeah. of that. And, and that's Martha cool. had a wonderful life. Exactly. Uh, I think I would start off by killing John Adams because he had a pretty troublesome presidency. Mm. And I think we just spare everybody the issues. Uh, secondly... I would totally marry Ben Franklin because he spent most of the war in France, and I'm not trying to get shot or executed anytime soon. <laughs> As soon as say pa. And finally, I would do Alexander Hamilton because let's be real, if he looked anything like Lin Manuel Miranda, count me in. Whoa. Okay, so I have given this a lot of thought, and I'm gonna say fuck Benjamin Franklin because he is uh, sexual exploits in France are well documented. Marry George Washington because the most honorable gentleman. And you know what? I'm gonna have to go ahead and kill Alexander Hamilton because I don't want to futz with the time stream uh, very much. I would fuck Hamilton. He was known as kind of a fuckboy, so I want to see what the big deal is. Marry Ben Franklin because he was a crazy person. There were a ton of bones found in his basement, so I kind of really want to know what that's about. And I would kill John Adams because he was America's first worst decision. He passed the Alien and Sedition Acts and outlawed free speech. And the states rebelled against it, creating this process called nullification, which served as pretext for the Civil War. So basically, John Adams started the Civil War from his fucking grave. So I would kill him. Kill Benjamin Franklin. Uh, if he never discovered electricity, i never have to answer my phone. Marry John Adams because the musical 1776, fantastic. I'd have sex with John Hancock. Kill George Washington. You're a cool guy, but I would marry Alexander Hamilton because like, have you seen the musical? He's fucking awesome. And I would have to do Benjamin Franklin because odds are that'd be electrifying. I'd probably marry George Washington because it'd be cool to be the first ever first gentleman. Uh, I'd probably kill Thomas Jefferson because then there'd be no light bulbs. Was it him or was it Thomas? Edit. Anyways, I'd probably fuck John Hancock. I would fuck George Washington because it's George fucking Washington and he's the OG president. Okay, come on. And then I would marry John Adams because he was nice to his wife. And I would kill John Jay because I don't even fucking remember learning about John Jay. Who is that guy? Definitely fuck Ben Franklin. Marry Thomas Jefferson because he's kind of shy, romantic type. Kill John Adams because he was kind of a dick. Kill Alexander Hamilton I would marry George Washington and uh, and I would fuck Ben Franklin because he's just a gangster, he's a baller, right? What about you? What do you think? Okay, so I would marry Ben Franklin because I'm all about the Benjamins, fuck Alexander Hamilton, and kill John Jay. I would fuck Thomas Jefferson because he had jungle fever. Kill George Washington. He actually owned my ancestors. We have like coins and stuff, we have buttons. And I would marry Ben Franklin because he's very good with money. Is there any other person you can marry than George Washington? Let's be honest with it. It's George Washington, bro. Thomas Jefferson, that's a fuck right there. Gingers, 
Who doesn't love gingers? Everybody loves gingers. Kill? You gotta kill Alexander Hamilton. I mean, everybody, I mean, that seems to be the thing to do, right? Greetings, Father Bob here, playing my own game. Elect, erect, or next? Let's get started. Of the Founding Fathers, I'd elect Ben Franklin as president. He was a political genius and a renaissance man. It's a no-brainer. I'm all about the Benjamins. Moving on, if I could erect one Founding Father, and yes, you heard that correctly, I give a stippy to none other than Alexander Hamilton. I mean, just look at that fucking jawline, am I right? Daddy-like. And lastly, Thomas Jefferson, sorry to say it, buddy, but you're getting the next. Contributions aside, it's kind of hypocritical for a guy like you to say all men are created equal. I mean, come on, Monticello, am I right? He owns slaves. Okay, well, on that night, I'm going to drink away my white guilt. Here we are. Ooh, let's get toasty. Hashtag America. We have a show. Well, that's it, guys. That's all we have today, and we have a show. Thank you so much to everyone for sending in those wonderful responses. Uh, Chris, I had a blast. Thank you so much to everyone. I have a whole new perspective of the Founding Fathers, especially John Jay. Here's to John Jay, John everybody. Jay, the second governor of New York. He was also the first chief justice of the United States. And he signed the Paris Accords. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. Be sure to like us on Facebook <laughs> and keep the conversation going in the comment section below. Do it! Well, until next week, friends, filmmakers get filming, writers get writing, musicians get musicking, artists get arting, and photogs get photogging, and let's make a show together. My name is Zach Morrison, that's Christopher Pacey, happy 4th of July everybody, keep on doing it live, and we will see you all next week.